So we are at the Coronation property and this is where the Coronation added is over there. Struck in that outcrop which is all quartz and uh, there's no record of this, of when this was struck. What they actually did here, any production numbers or anything. And the only sample results are from the 70s when someone found this. This is a 91 meter adit that goes back. Uh, there's a cross cut. There's um, a little stoped area and a shaft in the center. And as you can see, they're currently logging this whole thing. So we have this claim block staked here and it is under option with Kermode Resources. So what we want to do is just go in a little bit and take a quick sample and take a few photos and explore the area. So as you can see this entire width here, 20 meters wide, is a giant quartz vein. And this is the adit struck in the base here. So the adit is actually pretty mucky right now. I've never actually been in the winter time, so I'm probably not going to go in there. We're going to just scavenge around the side of this vein and See what we can find. See the oxidation there. All these areas of oxidation, these vugs. Used to have sulfides, but they're all weathered out. And as you can see, it is all completely quartz. This black is just algae covering it. So we're gonna see if we can find a sample to take out here. And then we're going to go above a bit, try not to get in the way of the loggers. So we got a few samples here. You can see quartz with pyrite all throughout. This is from the right side of the adit. Okay, we're going in just a few meters to get a sample. You can see all the sulfides all over the ground there. If we maybe get a sample from right here. See right here. You got what looks like mica, little molybdenite, and pyrite. So let's try and get one from here. So you can see what I mean the sulfides here. We've got some samples in here with molybdenite on them. So this piece came out of right here. We're gonna take a chunk out of this. Back out here at the truck now, we pulled out a few samples. Just in the entrance area, about 10 meters in, you can see molybdenite all throughout the quartz. And you can see coarse pyrite. And you have mica mixed in with some of the quartz. You can see the samples here. We got a sample with molybdenum and we got a sample with pyrite from two separate areas inside.